Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. And today we are looking at the brand new LTD Aaron Rodgers. This card, you know what you're getting out of this card. This gameplay probably doesn't even have to be made because you know like what you're getting out of this card. Uh, you know, Slinger 1 release. He's actually got pretty decent speed here on the Jets team. And he's rocking that number 8. I'm very surprised that the number is actually right on this card. A lot of the times EA just, for example, Tim Tebow, they gave him number 85 or RG3 number 3, for example. Things like that. You know, it's the little things, but today we have a 4 AP setup on Aaron Rodgers. For my team, I don't have an identifier offensive lineman right now. So, identifier on Rodgers with protected, set feet, fearless, and hot route. To me, on Slinger 1, you don't really need Gunslinger. But uh, having that 0 AP hot route master is a huge W. Because right here in this slot, he gets it for 2. So, if you want to run hot route master, being able to get that for free is a huge W for keeping that AP down. So, yeah, good abilities on Rodgers. This setup for 4 AP is pretty insane. Um, of course, Jets cams and Packers cams rocking that number eight. Let's hop into some games and let's see what Aaron Rodgers can do today. All right, here we go. We got game number one with Aaron Rodgers. This is actually probably like what I'm about to say might sound a little crazy, but this might be my like first full game of like Madden I played and I don't even know. I've been playing house rules for gameplays and stuff, but dude, I haven't played like an actual seasons game of Madden in I probably two weeks. Probably actually two weeks to be honest with you. Maybe I did it last week. Did I play last week? I I had to have I had to have played. Or was House Rules still a thing? I don't know. I, I feel like I had to have. Who's this quarterback? Is that? I don't know who that is. Who's this quarterback? I have no idea. But just know it's been a minute. It's definitely been a minute since my last game of Madden 23. It has been. That's Drew Bledsoe at quarterback. This guy's team doesn't look to be too hot. Um, and also a little bit disappointed. Was there not like a full draft drop today? I haven't really looked at it yet, but I, di I didn't think they were going to drop a full draft drop today. I was hoping we get like an actual part two, but it's not looking like we... It, oh yeah, all we got was Aaron today. Um, and then tonight we are going to be getting um, a lot more of the uh, NFL draft guys. The guys who get picked tonight. Um, I'll do a game plays for those cards as well. I'll probably just do the quarterbacks that get drafted um, up until probably they turn to like 97. So like, that's probably my idea. That's my idea. Or maybe I'll just do them all. I don't know. I mean, that, that could also go into, into, into tomorrow, obviously. Um, that's kind of like the outlook for the next couple of days. It'll probably be NFL draft gameplays tonight and into, into tomorrow morning. And then we're going to do, um, we'll, we'll do a tier list maybe, or unless there's, you know, just can't tell if making a play, unless there's Ultimate Legends uh, for for Saturday. I rate your teams on Sunday and um, probably something like that. Probably something like that. And they added Keith Byers. Is that, they added Keith Byers headshot he never had it in the game so nice to have that now i guess but uh yeah and then i want to do a jets theme team episode next week with aaron Rodgers in the number eight and uh also the uh whoever the jets draft in the first round who will most likely be an offensive lineman most likely and this guy's already got those ko's out there going crazy okay mike vick with flat zone ko he's running that cover three though so let's go normal y off and man i gotta i do i I know in the last gameplay I asked for new playbooks and stuff, but I do I you can't learn a new playbook if you don't play the game. And I know I'll get back into playing Madden, like I just will. I'll get excited for Madden 24. I'll get I'll get into it, but this is definitely the earliest I can remember like being burnt out from a Madden game. Definitely the earliest I can remember. But this guy is we have protected for a reason. Rod step up, slide Rogers. Okay, 91 speed is honestly still not bad. It's actually pretty good for a Rogers card. Um, if he had like 95 ish speed, it probably would have felt a little too nasty to be using him, right? Like 95 speed Rodgers would have been crazy. But 91, I feel it's a good spot on a Jets team. It's pretty solid. So um, let's try run four verts. You all know the rule. When in doubt, you run four verticals. You actually have. Oh, no, we don't. He followed. Ah, oh, come down with it. Okay. Yeah, I thought Vic was just going to stay. He followed. Now it's fourth down. Dude, I miss, I miss the house rules, man. Having that extra down, that fifth down was so nice to have. That fit down was really nice. All right, let's go stack here. Let's go stack, and what we want here is Brandon Marshall. However, flat zone Vic is right there, which could end up being a problem. Let's see. Oh, was he ready for that? He, he kind of was, but we get up the middle here, make a miss, and then we go Brandon Marshall making a play up the middle. And that, that's actually, I guess, Rogers' first, uh, first completion of the day here, man. 
I forgot. There's this one formation. It may have been this formation that has that quick. Maybe it's the other one. It, I think it's this one. No, am I wrong? There's the one formation that has that quick, that quick out to the tight end. I don't remember. I don't remember what it's in. I don't remember what it's in. Let's try to read option though, Rogers, man. What was his carrying again? I don't even remember what his carrying is. I'm, I'm just gonna slide. I'm not gonna get cute. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna hand it off. Actually, I hate when they make that read. Cut inside. Breeze Hall. Breeze Hall. Breeze Hall's gone. There we go. Breeze Hall going crazy. Dude, that Breeze card's too nice, man. He's too nice. He's too nice. He's too nice. And also that flat zone Vic might go crazy, but we're gonna flip this thing out to Gronk as quick as possible. That's the plan here. And yeah, he put him in the flat zone. Okay. He's, he was doing. He did that a couple times. I probably should have known he was gonna do that. Again, that's my fault, but I'll take it. Uh, maybe I should have went with the shovel option there. I mean, we got enough, like, you know, we got enough speed where that, that shovel option is possible. Okay, who would I rather? Aaron Rodgers edition. Obviously, Rodgers, not the best QB in the game. If this was Madden 20, the Madden 21, people would be, literally be salivating right now at this card. There'd be a lot more hype around it. There's still probably a decent amount of hype around the card, but, you know, there'd be a lot. He'd be on everyone's team uh, if this card got revealed. Um, I do think he's better than Joe Montana, though. Very similar cards, both Slinger 1 quarterbacks. Give me Rodgers, though, here. Uh, yeah, definitely give me Rodgers. It is close, but give me Rodgers. Um, I'm going to go Rodgers over Cam. Obviously, two different play styles, so it's kind of hard to compare if you're running the ball a lot. Cam's still the better guy, but I like Slinger 1 Rodgers. I'm going to go Tebow, though. Uh, I'm going to go Rodgers over Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to go Rodgers. This one's close, too, but I'm going to go Rodgers actually over a Stabler, mainly for, yeah, abilities. That's really the only reason why. Abilities. Um, speed's pretty similar. Um, slinger one, slinger three. It kind of actually, you know, it comes down to what release you want to use. If you're a slinger three guy, it's probably stable. If you're a slinger one guy, it's Rogers. Obviously, slinger one's good short to mid, but has its problems deep. And then slinger one, I think I, I, I somewhat do prefer slinger. I mean, uh, slinger three to be honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna go. Of course, I'm not a big Mahomes fan, so I mean, in real life, I am, but not in the game. So I'm gonna go Rogers here. Uh, I'm gonna go Rogers here as well. Um, Rogers. This one's close too. I guess it kind of comes, comes into play style if you can even use a lefty. Um, this, this one's actually pretty close as well. But I think I'm going to go Rodgers just because he's a 99 overall and does get some slightly better abilities. Give me Rodgers. Give me Rodgers. Um, and then I would probably go McNair. I would probably go Rodgers over Cunningham. But I might, I might go Danny. I like Danny's card a lot. And then um, on the second page, I think only Herbert is the guy I would take over Rodgers here. And maybe Vic too, depending on your play style. Because Vic's just a lefty slinger one with better speed. So... I think realistically, Rodgers could be the third best quarterback on the Jets team. He he really probably is. Yeah, he, he probably is, which is crazy to think about. And most likely, if you are using this card, you're either just a Rodgers fan or, you know, a Jets fan, obviously, like me. But if you have a Jets theme team, the best QB, in my opinion, I mean, I'll talk about it in the Who Would I Rather segment. I think the best quarterback in the game right now is Timmy Tebow. Um, until golden tickets, apparently golden tickets are going to get two zero AP abilities, which, you know, it'll just, you, you can like save an AP, I guess, you know, I guess you could, it, it'll be nice. Um, but I don't know, golden tickets this year, I don't think are going to be that great, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I, let, me take that, let me take that back. I like the names. I like the names, but they like a lot of the cards right now that come out feel exactly the same. You know, they do, especially with how they've released quarterbacks now with everyone either getting slinger three or slinger one to me i don't like that i like a little bit of variety i like when slinger one was a unique release and i think slinger three should be a lot of the same um but when you have a release like that that everyone kind of searches for i mean they kind of have to do it or else you're not going to buy the cards they put themselves in this position which sucks but um it is what it is it is what it is um but it feels like a lot of the cards are the same especially at like receiver cornerback you know things like that you know that's why it's kind of hard for me to even play this game make videos on this game because I'm reviewing cards and it's just it's just the same card over and over again at this point of the year. That's kind of that's kind of how I'm feeling about this game right now. Um I kind of forgot the point I was making. What was the point I was making? Oh, golden tickets. I don't think they're gonna feel that special. I just don't think they are. Um, because you know you're saving what you're saving one AP in a lot of scenarios here, and we already have super cheap AP. So I don't know. I, I kind of wish they went with the X Factor route on the on the golden tickets. The same way like aka cards existed i kind of wish they went i kind of wish they went that route but you know it is what it is hopefully we get a ko we don't okay touchdown hey but hey my man chuck clark made a play out there chuck clark had a ko in that play before don't don't think i didn't see that chuck clark going crazy bro kicking a field goal in april is crazy man kicking a field goal in april man okay here we go right back on offense the most potent offense in Madden 23, many many say that about my offense. It's one of the most potent out right now. And I should really be running some more bunch. 
I should be running more Bunch. Bunch is so nice to run, man. Bunch is just a nice little, you know, a nice little, you can run stuff stock in it. You know, it's nice. It's truly nice. Here we go. Call high. Call high, Garage. Okay, flat's on open. We should get B Marsh open, though. As long as there's no peel off with a KO. Oh, okay. Who's that? Is that Chris Carter out there? Okay, Chris Carter. I don't know what kind of KOs he's got, but we get a nice completion. We cover three. What well, we could try. What well, we could try. Hear me out. Is the box beater. The box beater. We can give it a try here, man. What we want to do is we want to streak Gronk. Motion and Cromartie. Come back, Garrett Wilson. And we're going to block Breeze. We'll block Breeze. Um, there's no, no no check down. Actually, we have B-Marsh. I'm going to take it. We actually had that for a touchdown. Oh, my. Unless he did see it. We got him open again. And, yeah, he's not seeing that. Oh, my. Window. And it. Oh, okay. That was close. No, I. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, I can explain what happened there. I was spamming. I don't know why I did that. I never do that. I was spamming X like I was lurking or something. I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to get a rack animation. I was spamming X like I was going to lurk him or something. And then punch it, Raj. Punch it, Raj. Oh, my God. Broke a tackle for Aaron Rod. Oh, my. Stay in your feet. And number eight got him acting different, man. That number eight got him acting absolutely different. Did you see that from Aaron Rodgers, man? He just shrugged off a linebacker. My goodness, Raj. Chill. Okay, run that back. Run that back one time. I'm pitching. No, I'm not. Rodgers is mobile in that number eight, man. Okay. Oh, my God. He's got a little spice, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. A little zest from Rodgers. Hey, and for our comment of the day, right? Our question of the day. Not comment of the day. Our question of the day. Of course, even if you don't want to answer the question, drop a comment for the algorithm. You know, maybe just comment algorithm, something like that. Do something like that. Um, and that would make me very happy. But the question of the day. Let's go with, uh, who's your team picking? Who's your team picking today? Of course, NFL Draft tonight. Put your team and then put who you're picking um, right next to it. But let's do that today. Let's do that today. So, um, yeah, that's the question of the day. Who's your team picking? For me, Jets, I think, I mean, I again, you guys, if you know me, you know I don't really watch college football like that. But I think the Jets do take a tackle. Whether that's uh, Broderick or um, I, don't think, I don't think they're going to get that Paris. Paris, his name is, right? Paris something. I don't know. They need a tackle, though. They need a tackle. Um, the Jets will probably go tackle. That's my prediction. Um, or edge. I saw I saw some mock drafts with them going edge, which surprised me, but I guess it does kind of make sense. I guess it kind of does. Chop that. Chop that. There we go. I guess it does kind of make sense. The line wants this quick in. Yup. There we go. I'm so lurky, man. It told me I can't lurk with linebackers. I've been lurking with linebackers since Madden 21. Like, I do this. Like, I really do this.